Hello folks, this is uh, 2020 May-June paper 4-1 and the question number is 8. It is concerned with the chapter magnetic field of current. So the first uh, question says, 8a says define the Tesla. So Tesla is the uh, SI unit of uh, magnetic field strength or intensity and uh, it follows from the definition of uh, this thing. So we have F is equal to BIL sine of uh, theta. When the direction of current and uh, uh, magnetic field is uh, perpendicular, it becomes uh, B I L, and from there we have got B is equal to F by I L. So uh, uh, B is the unit of uh, uh, the unit of B is uh, Tesla. So it should be one Tesla is the is uh, that uh, uh, magnetic field that magnetic field strength, which can produce which can produce one newton force. One newton force on a wire of length one meter, carrying current to one ampere when placed perpendicular to the magnetic field. When placed perpendicular to the magnetic field, so that scores you three marks. So you have to mention perpendicular. You have to mention force per unit length and then per unit current. Current. Uh, so then that gives you three marks. Now number B. Uh, a magnet produces a uniform magnetic field of flux density B in the space between its poles. So these are the poles of the magnet. So pole face here, one face is here and one face here, which uh, uh, we cannot see from this side. But when uh, in classroom, I often show this face to the students. I often do show uh, by showing them this uh, 3D picture, 3D picture, somewhat like this. So uh, a rigid copper wire carrying a current is balanced on a pivot. So this is the copper wire. Rigid it says that. It means uh, when you apply force, its uh, dimensions do not change. Its shape does not change. Uh, part PQLM of the wire is in between the poles. So PQLM is in between the poles, between the poles or the part outside the poles. As illustrated in figure 8.1, the wire is balanced horizontally by means of a small weight W. So it means that uh, there should have been a torque of this type, torque of this type on the, on the, uh, the on this side. So that's why to balance it, it has used a small weight W here, small weight here, to balance this thing. Now, in the next page, what you have is so this uh, portion is uh, equally essential for next page also. So let me first fold it. I think folding would be a very very good idea. That is uh, due to our experience in teaching this thing in the classroom as well. That's why I remember it right now. So that is the difference between having experience and uh, going for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yes. The section of the wire between the poles of the magnet is shown in figure 8 by 2. So they have highlighted this portion here. So M, uh, P, Q, L is within the magnetic field. Uh, now we have to say, explain why the section QL of the wire gives rise to a moment about the pivot. So QL gives rise to moment. We have to explain that. So it means that what happens here is, uh, since the current is flowing from here, from here it will come like this. It will come like this. Here it will be going like this, like this, like this, and then back. So that means in QL the current is going away from us. In QL. The current is going away from us so it is away from us so now let's apply the left hand rule so here we have uh, n pole spl pole so this is the uh, direction of the magnetic field and we have a uh, current going away so away means that it will be somewhat like this so let me do it like this so let me do it like this away away like this and then the force should be like this so that means this ql portion will be experiencing a force like this. I think I have stated that previously also. So this is the direction of the force or here I can say this is the direction of the force. So there is force. So there is force here and there is a fulcrum here, fulcrum here. So force here, fulcrum here. And uh, and uh, this is the, this is the uh, distance between the line of action, the line of action and fulcrum. So this is the distance, shortest distance between the line of action and the fulcrum. So that's why there is moment. So moment requires that there is force and there is some sort of a distance between the line of action of force and the fulcrum and it is there. Force is there and the line of uh, the, there is some separation between line of action and the fulcrum. 
some separation between the line of action and the fulcrum. So that, that's why there is moment. Sections P, Q and L M of the wire do not affect the equilibrium of the wire. So it means that uh, uh, it means that uh, first of all we have to uh, state whether there is force or not. And even if there is force, we have to state whether the line of action of the force is uh, having some distance from the fulcrum or not. Let's see. So in uh, PQ, what we have is, in PQ, the direction of current is downward. Current is downward and uh, here in e, like this. So he, what happens here is, we have the magnetic field here. The magnetic field is here. And then in PQ, current is going down. You know, so that's why, that's why, oh, it's, it's so difficult here. It's so difficult here. Ah, let me do it like this. So magnetic field like this, uh, current PQ going like this, and the force is over here. So the force is the force. The force is in PQ. The force is towards the observer, towards the observer, and then this ML is away from the observer. It will be towards. It will be away. So that means the forces here, the forces here, the forces here, and here, they will cancel each other totally cancel each other so no force there and no force means there is no torque or moment and in addition uh, in order to have moment here the force should be either in this direction or that direction but here the forces are are away to away from observer or towards the observers that's why uh, there for this fulcrum the force should have been like this but uh, since the forces are not like that perp exactly perpendicular to these two directions so there can't be any moment so pretty a uh, bit complex here. Now, next question. Section QL of the wire. Section QL of the wire. So let's go here again. Of the wire uh, has a length 0 0.85 centimeter. So let me make it. Uh, it is uh, 0 0.0085 meters. The permanent distance from QL of QL from the pivot is uh, 5.6. It is 0 0.056 meters. When the current in the wire is changed by 1.2 ampere, W is moved a distance of 2.6 centimeter. It is 0 0.026 meters along the wire in order to restore equilibrium. The mass of wire is this much. Mass. So that the change in moment of W about the pivot is 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power minus 5 millimeters. So first of all, we have to show the change in moment change in moment due to shifting of the mass so it will be equal to the change in moment should be equal to delta in moment is equal to is equal to uh, equal to uh, force into change of distance distance perpendicularly so that's why the force is equal to mass into g into change of distance is uh, 0 0.026 equal to m is uh, 1.3 into 10 to the power minus 4 into 9.81 into 0 0.026 so this will be equal to equal to uh, 1.3 exponent minus 4 into 9.81 into 0 0.026 so this gives me 0 0.00003315 and something so it's equal to uh, 3.3 uh, 1 1 into 10 to the power minus 5 newton meters which is almost equal to this thing so when rounded up it is 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power minus 5 newton meters now using the information in this thing we have to determine the magnetic flux density b between the poles of the magnet so that's why so this moment uh, this moment so delta of this moment moment should be equal to equal to uh, so the moment produced here should be equal to the moment produced here so this moment is given by the force here the force here expressed by this wire into the perpendicular distance so this is equal to 5.6 centimeter it is 0 0.056 and the force is equal to b i l into 0 0.056 equal to or i can say 3.31 into 10 to the power minus 5 is equal to B is uh, B, which we need to find. I is equal to, uh, they said that uh, the current was uh, changed by 1.2 ampere. So it is 1.2 uh, into, into the length is 
so the length on which uh, there is force is it is given there uh, section QL so it is QL it is the length along which there is force so QL is equal to 0 0.0085 into 0 0.056 so from here B is equal to this thing divided this thing so therefore that will give B is equal to let's do calculation so it is a uh, uh, It'll be equal to um, yeah 3.31 exponent minus 5 divided bracket 1.2 into 0 0.0085 into 0 0.056 back close equal to so this gives me it gives me 0 0.0579 tesla and in two significant figures it becomes 0 0.058 tesla so it's equal to 0 0.058 tesla so that's the complete solution to this question so pretty uh, tough I, I i suppose but still uh, it is workable it is doable if we give some uh, enough time and uh, uh, of course uh, we'd pay proper attention